Hey, Josh here from Create Studio. And first of all, I want to say a big welcome to our Facebook community. Um, we're excited to have you in this group. And what I wanted to do was quickly shoot a video and run through a few things in terms of uh, getting started with the software. So the first thing is, uh, you know, this group is not a support group. So if you do have any support questions, make sure to pop over to support.createstudio.com. And here you'll find a massive knowledge base. Basically our team have really put together, you know, probably hundreds of articles showing you different things about how to use the software, um, answering the most common questions, we've got FAQs. Um, and if you, you know, for example, let's say you wanna find out how to import media, just simply type in import media and click on search. And you'll see that we've got a ton of articles showing you different things, how to add background music, how to search imported media, importing media, where to find access to integrations, um, how to create a folder. And also with some of these articles, for example, this one, let's have a look. Yeah, you'll see we've got screenshots as well, like pointing to certain elements to make it really simple for you, okay? Um, often like when you buy a new software, you kind of, um, you know, you, got, you want to know how to get started quickly and if something, you don't know how to do it, it gets a little bit frustrating. So it's good just to pop over here and find out, um, yeah, through our knowledge base, how to do certain things. And we've also got our GIFs, you know, showing you as well some quick steps. Um, also, we've got a YouTube channel, um, which you can access uh, through the app. If you click on the learn link on the home screen, you have to go over to our YouTube channel and we've got some tutorials there. And we're also going to be adding new tutorials, you know, as time goes by as well to really help you use the software and get the most out of it. Okay, so if you also want to create a ticket, simply click on start a conversation, send us a support message and we can uh, get back to you as soon as possible. As it is launch week right now, like we have, you know, quite a lot of tickets coming through, but we've also got quite a big team of support staff. So we, we do respond pretty fast. Um, to request. So let's go back uh, over to the software and this is Create Studio. This is my account. You can see I've got a ton of folders that I kind of need to sort out and make them a lot you know, neater, I guess. Uh, but yeah, over here, this is where you can go create a new project, um, you know, give it a name, you know, go ahead and create the resolution that you want for your video and then simply create a new project. You can also add a custom resolution down here as well and create your project. But what I want to show you is uh, one of the bonuses that we've giving away. So in this template library, um, we've got a whole bunch of templates, you know, for the template club users. We've also added some free templates and we're going to be adding some more free templates um, for you who don't have the membership. But yeah, so over here, let's say for example, I want to play this one. Okay, so that's the template. And if you do, if you don't want to have the music playing while you're, you know, browsing these, just simply click on the mute over, icon over here and you'll see that it plays without muting it, uh, without the audio. And then simply click on use template. I'll just pull, oh, let's play it actually. And it, basically what it's gonna do is download the assets and import the template into your account. And it's pretty fast, uh, depending on the types of templates they are and the assets that are included. Um, but it, as you can see, it loads really fast like that, okay? And here's the template. If I click on play, you're about to preview it again. Okay, so the same template, of course, as that video. Now this template's, uh, I guess it's a more of a complex type of template because it's quite a long one as you can see. It's got lots of animations, lots of um, elements included. Uh, a lot of the other templates are a lot more simple, but let me show you how you could you know, use this template to create a video to promote your own services. If you want to sell videos to uh, businesses, you can actually use this template um, to promote your service. So it's really simple to use. Down on the timeline, you've got your music track, and we have these groups of elements that we've created into scenes, okay? So you'll be able to see scene one, we've got this one here, I can simply double click on it. And this takes me into the group, and you can see I've got the character and the text, and if I wanna change anything, I simply zoom in here, I can double click on this text, and it'll open up this group. And let's say I wanna change this text and say this is Tom, so I've done that. And maybe I wanna go through and adjust the size of it, you can just simply you know, drag it up like this. And let's say I want to also adjust the text. I'm going to go through and just select the text and I'm going to go with, I'm going to click on the color. And this one, I'm going to go through and add a gradient onto it to make it nice and colorful. Let's say I want to go with maybe a green color. And it's really that simple, you know, to go through and customize, you know, these templates. They're really fully flexible because they've been all built inside the software. And I've got my other text down here. Okay, so for this text, I'm gonna go through onto advanced 
And you can see we've also got things like borders and shadow um, that you can add onto your elements. So let's say I'm going to make the border be like eight or so. And I'm going to actually remove that color so that we can just have a border. So you can do fun things like this. Maybe I'll make the, the border a little bit smaller, let's say four. Okay, that's looking good. And I'm also going to change this font style, okay? So we've got quick links under here to the colors and the text fonts. So I can click on, you know, a font. Um, we've got these presets as well. So you can really speed things up. And if you want to find a font, I like this one. It's quite nice here. So I might just select that one. Um, but if you want to search for a different font, you can click on the fonts panel. You can go through and search um, for fonts down here. We've got a load of fonts. We'll be adding loads more as well. Um, and let's say, for example, we want to use something like this one. I could click on that. And if I like it, I can also add it to my favorites by clicking on the star. And you'll have to see down here, we've got all my favorites that I can you know, quickly access and you know, adjust everything by simply clicking on it like that. So that one's quite a nice one here. This is Tom, so I'm just gonna zoom in a bit more and just make it a bit bigger, like that. And I also wanna go through and change the color of this. So what I could do, this box, I could just simply click on the box. Again, you could click on this link here to open up the color panel. And maybe you wanna make it like a, a white color, maybe a little bit lighter, something like that. I could do, kind of play around with it, see you know, what looks good to you. Maybe we'll make it a little bit light like that. And if I go back out of here to the main project, you can see it's been updated on my video, which is super cool. And it's really fast to do that. Um, so you can go through and you know change that text uh, and yeah, kind of go through and adjust everything. Um, let's say for scene two, I want to adjust this scene. I can, again, I can either double click on this group or I could just double click on the canvas and they will open up the group. And maybe I want to change the pose of this character. So what I could do is click on Tom, drop down his actions, and then just simply click on the action to, to select it. And then just simply click on the uh, drop down and look for an action that I want. So maybe I want to go with angry. Okay, <laughs> so you can see now like he's a, he's very angry and <laughs> you can see that. And again, you can also change all the text. You could change the background color. Let's say I want to make this background, I don't know, maybe a green or a red. I could. You know, really play around with that. Maybe a red like that, because he's angry. Um, you can change this color as well. Maybe you'll make him a red, but you can also do this. You can actually click on the eyedropper and then select the color. And if you want to, um, sometimes you need to like zoom in to get the exact color you want, um, but you simply click on it and you can see you've added the color. And I could maybe adjust that slightly as well, like that. Yeah, and it's really that easy. So I go back to the main project and you can see my template's been updated and what's really cool as well you can let's say over here we need to change up you know the agency name so instead of having your agency you could just add your own agency name so let's say I want to say uh, create let's say my agency is called creative studio okay I'll make it like that and maybe I'll make this centered like so bring it up and I'll maybe I'll position it up like that and I'll also change the color. So let's say we'll make it a red to really stand out. So meet Creative Studio. You can also change the background color of this circle box. And if I go across a more, you can see that we've got this logo. So the, a really cool feature that we've built in is the replace button. So for videos and images, you can actually swap them with your own media. And yeah, it will basically keep all the animations and the settings that are on the template. So what I'm going to do is import my logo by clicking on import media, this plus button. And I'm going to go over to create studio logo files and just bring this one in here. So there's my logo, you can see. So all I need to do again is you can see I've got this, the animation goes like this. It kind of uh, comes out like that. So all I need to do is click on replace and then select my media. And it's that fast huh, that you can go through and, you know, customize these templates. So you can see how good that looks. And you basically just go through, you know, and go into each of the scenes, adjust it as you like. Let's say this one here, I would just add my website, you know, my text font. Maybe I'd use, you know, let's say I want to use BBAS or, you know, kind of customize that. And you can see, you know, just zoom in, just bring it up. And you can also use um, different smart links. So we've got a link, for example, to center the element. Um, let's go back over here. I want to uh, probably put it like here, for example. But um, 
Let's say also you kind of you're over here, but you want to make it centered. You can use this little quick link here as well, um, and really speed. You know, quickly make your videos looking really cool. You can add also maybe a background image instead of having the shape, and you know, add also shapes to this slide. Let's say I want to add you know some patterns. I could go through and just click that one and just bring it up like this, and I could also drag it down here. Maybe put it below. And I could adjust the opacity and now I've got a really nice looking design slide okay some of the elements also on the timeline um, you'll see they're locked uh, we did this so that you know when you're adjusting the text it doesn't select it doesn't select you know the, the background and you kind of mess around with it but you can unlock it of course and then you know change click on it to select it and then you know change out the color um, again like this blue one I could just go through and you know, select the different color if I like. Maybe like red or something like that. And if I go back to the main project, you see it's all updated, okay? Um, so, yeah, again, I'd go over here, click on the logo, click replace, and select my logo. And I can just position it nicely on the circle. And I have my video ready to publish within just a few clicks, basically. Um, so if I click on publish now, I can go through and select the file type, click on the destination, Let's say I'll save, I'll save it to my desktop and call it just some random name. And then I'd click on publish video and I'd publish my video. So yeah, that's how easy it is to go through and use these templates. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check it out. And yeah, we really want to build a, a really cool community of creative people in this group. So um, post you know videos that you've created with the software. We'd love to check them out and see what you're creating. And yeah, each day, each week, each month, we're going to be adding lots of really helpful video creative tips uh, and videos and articles and posts into this group to really help you to make better videos faster, you know, with Create Studio.